Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'll be using these wood blocks to create two different wall decor pieces. I'm starting off with the wall sconces first and for this step I'm just placing seven wood blocks going across and six going down. Don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm peeling off that extra glue so when I get ready to hand paint them, it'll be a smooth process. This is what I have so far and for this next step, I'm basically going off the corners and the edges where the lines meet as to where to place the outer blocks. So first, all I'm doing is gluing two blocks together. Then I'm taking these three and gluing them together. So now I have three pieces in total and I'm going to glue the longer blocks on top of the other blocks. So you should have something like this and I'm going to create 13 more of these for a total of 14 for each wall sconce. I used a total of 161 wood blocks and now I'm using my premium acrylic paint in the color black and my foam brush to cover everything. So now that everything has dried, I'm actually going to flip these over to add some foam pieces to help me hang these up on the wall since I don't have any command strips. So I'm going to glue one at the top and then one at the bottom and then push them into a small nail that I will place into the wall. Now I'll be using these mirror tiles and I'm going to place five going down and five going across before gluing them down. These mirror tiles are self-adhesive, but since I continuously use these, I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Looking pretty good, minus the fingerprints, so now I'm going to wipe all those off before moving to the next step. If you are going to recreate this project, then I suggest you glue these outer pieces together just as I did, because if you don't, you'll have a hard time placing them back down. I also suggest using a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time and I'm putting these in place before gluing them down. I'm placing more mirror tiles to the front center of my wall sconces before gluing them down. Now I'm going to add smaller mirror tiles to the sides. These four LED lights was looking a little bit too plain for me, so I'm going to use some of this PVC electrical tape that I got from Dollar Tree to make them look a little bit more distinctive. Mm -hmm. 
these LED lights look so much better now and y'all know these are self-adhesive so I'm just going to remove the backing and then put them in place and then I will be right back to show y'all the final look. These wall sconces are definitely unique pieces. I am so in love with these. You can't even tell that these are wood blocks, but please let me know what y'all think down in the comments. These can also be used without lights. For project number two, I'll be reusing these canvases that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I already covered them with my black acrylic paint, but as you guys can see, it didn't take too well. So I'll be using some of this glitter paint and also some of this glitter to recover them. As I started to paint these, I noticed that the black acrylic paint started to come off. So I just decided to go on ahead and use more of that black acrylic paint to cover them. Now I'm gonna just sprinkle some glitter on top to give them a little bit more detail. I'm going to use some of this sealer off camera to seal the glitter. I placed my canvases in my desired shape and now I'm just going to glue them all together. Next, I'm using more of those wooden blocks and I'm going to place six to each canvas in a unique pattern. This is look number one and I'm loving the all black slash glitter matte look, but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. Okay, so for look number two, all I'm doing is taking those same mirror tiles and I'm gluing them down on top of each block. Adding these mirror tiles made such a difference in transforming this wall decor and I love how it turned out. Tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.